So today I'm going to show you how to update your LaForge main module. Now I've got the LaForge V3. So if you want to update the firmware on this, I'm going to teach you a little bit of how to go about doing that process. Now to update this is a little tricky because there's no USB port, as you can see. Not a single USB port on this whole unit. We're going to update through the pins. Yep. That's right, we're gonna use a special cable to update using these pins. So to start, we're gonna pull the module from the goggles very carefully so as not to bend the pins. LaForge says do not update the module while it's connected to the diversity side. That's this side over here. So I'm gonna just unplug that and we'll put the goggles off to the side because we're not gonna use them right now. All right, so now we're gonna go over to the magical cable that you need to buy to update this because it has no place to plug in a USB cable. All right, so this is called a USB ASP 2.0 programming cable. This is the 10 pin cable, but it's also got this six pin adapter. You see, there you go, that's the six pins. I've got these pins here. And I'm going to take these, I'm going to, these, these didn't come with it by the way, I just had these. I'm going to plug it in, like so. And now the programmer cable is pretty much set up to plug in to this. But before we do that, you're going to have to plug this into the computer. You should see it's got a little red light on it, whether the module is plugged in or not. As far as the software end of things, you need to install the drivers. Now to install the drivers, uh, a program called Zadig is included in your LaForge uh, firmware update application. You click into that folder, you start up Zadig, and you should see the USB ASP module in the options that you can select in Zadig. That's what you're going to apply to the USB ASP driver. Now you'll be able to connect to LaForge and to know that you did it right, you'll see up here USB ASP. See that? Right there. It's in the app. Uh, if, you, if you didn't do it right or the drivers didn't install successfully, then that won't appear. And you will not be able to use LaForge update. As you can tell, this is kind of not easy to maintain a connection. And here's the reason why. So before we go plugging this in so we don't fry anything, right here is the ground. See that? GND. You're going to want to line up the GND pin with the ground pin on the LaForge main module. And that's really not hard to do, see? And... Uh, and there we go. As you can see, it just all started up. Oh, now, that's the problem right there. Doing it this way you do not have that good of a connection. Now I've tried pushing down hard on this and I've tried, uh, I tried a variety of, of things to uh, get this to stick. And honestly, when you go to flash it, you might get an error about, you know, update failed, check your connection. And that is even if the module has power, you could be full power, you will get that error because unless all these pins are all touching and they're just fine, then you're not going to be able to update. So the way I did it was I held it on an angle like this and just putting it on that angle gets it to touch those pins like that. But that this was the only way that I could do it. It was the only way that I could do it. And it was a real, really big pain because I couldn't get it to flash otherwise. So I was literally holding it like this and flashing on the computer at the same time. That's the way I did it. Um, if wor worse comes to worse, you could absolutely solder this and then desolder it. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would just keep keep trying, uh, wiggle the pins, get find find a way to connect it that it stays connected, and will actually let you flash. As long as there's nothing wrong with your USB ASP programmer, you should be fine. And you don't need to worry about uh, not being able to use the module if a flash fails. Uh, the LaForge team has said over and over and over again that if you do flash this 
and something goes wrong in the process, or let's, let's say you bump it or your hand slips and you fail mid-flash, uh, you're not going to break it. You're, you will not break the module. You, it, it won't work, but you'll have to just reflash it. But these cannot, you can't permanently break it using the firmware update tool. You're just going to have to flash it again because it won't work. It will have been a failed flash, but it will not turn it into a brick. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So try to angle it, make sure you got power, and make sure the pins are all touching, because if they're not all touching, this is not going to work for you. And you're just gonna get really, really angry. Like I, I was having a huge frustration with this, huge frustration. But once that's done, now you're ready to uh, get, get, get it put back into the goggles. All right, so now what you wanna do is, after you flash your firmware, every single time, you need to calibrate the module. Every time you flash firmware, calibration must be done. So, to do that, we're gonna need to get a drone out. I'm just gonna use the King Kong Tiny 6X because it really doesn't matter what you use. All right, and we'll cycle to calibrate RSSI. It's calibrating. I've got the antenna nice and close, to pointing it basically at the thing. Doesn't matter what channel your uh, your uh, VTX is transmitting at. It's calibrating, and calibration was completed. So that's it. That's how you update your LaForge uh, V3 module. You use the USB ASP programmer. It's not the easiest process in the world, but it is not impossible. Just keep trying. I know that this cable is a bit of a pain, but like I said, just keep trying and you should eventually be able to get it. Line those pins up and you're ready to go. I linked the USB ASP programmer that I purchased, it was only $8 on Amazon, so it didn't sting too badly. The one that uh, LaForge recommends is more in the neighborhood of $12 or $13. So, you know, for something that you're really not going to use that often, you want to try to save as much money buying this as possible. So, yeah, check Amazon for the link to my uh, USB ASP programmer. All right, that's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or if you're having trouble with this process. Uh, I could try to help you out. And as always, have a great day, guys.